Welcome back, Planet Earth. My name is Sam the Dingus. On day one of being injured, my shoulder's fucked up, so I gotta find new ways to make it happen. And there's no better way to make it happen than with some elite cheese, which I have here today. Three cheeses that I got from an actual cheese store. All the rest of my reviews have been from Walmart cheeses, but the shit we got here today is on a different level. Even the best of Walmart cheeses couldn't touch this stuff. Talking like $10 for a third of a pound, each of these. So I'll make one review for each of these, and I won't do a gauntlet for them. I'm just trying to show them off, honestly. And I've been old enough doing this review. Well, now that I've done this review, I can eat the rest of these cheeses. So I'm going to get started with that. I want to get started with the one that's my favorite. Also, I should add, I'm going to use this elderberry creamed honey with all of them, uh, just to see how it pairs, if it does or doesn't. These cheeses might not be made for it, but I still want to try it. So like I said, I'll just pick one of these cheeses for now. My favorite of the bunch, up for debate though, we've got Mimolette. I think it's French. I don't know too much about this, but I'll, I'll do what I can. It's uh, probably the hardest cheese I've ever come across. Almost like Parmesan, but this shit's a rock. For real. Uh, it's still got the rind outside on the outside, that's how you know it's baller. I have eaten it, but it's kind of like foot skin. Not in like a gross way, but like... Not very texture savvy way. Anyway, I'm gonna get slicing some memo lit. And I'll add the honey as well. These cheeses are very flavorful, so you don't need much, but now that I'm in it, I don't see any reason not to have a lot. Hope that's not been telling me my shoulder's destroyed. My shoulder's all right, by the way. Just being a pain in the ass. Memo lit. She's up. Sappy and groovy. This is a deep flavored cheese. I want you to think like Parmesan. That's probably like the most similar relative, but it's a little like um, taller. Like I said, deeper. I guess the flavor is deeper. It's a hard cheese, but it's pretty melty once you put it in little tiny specks in your mouth. It coats everything. It's divine. Kind of makes your toes curl. <laughs> really, that's some solid cheese. Really uplifting. Really presses your your tongue to the roof of your mouth, or at least that's the way you should taste it. It's great. I feel like the color only adds to it in my mind, but it probably has nothing to do with how it tastes. Gotta say, off the bat, which is an American metaphor I came to know, when I said off the bat to somebody from another country, they were like, "What does that mean?" <laughs> I guess you forget the subtleties of your own language sometimes. Alright, now we're going to bust out on the millet with some creamed elderberry honey. Honey with sharp cheddar cheese is kind of my favorite thing. Honey's a really strong flavor, so I don't want to give it too much G-force, but here we go. Hmm. That's pretty good. I wouldn't say the flavors really combine though. It just kind of masks the like extra punch of the cheese with the sweetness of this. I'd say it's probably better to eat solo. Maybe there's a better pairing for it, but all in all, this is one smashing cheese. I'll even take a bite of the rind for you. <laughs> Do not try this at home. So it's kind of hard to give this stuff a rating because it's on a totally different level than all my other cheeses. And I've already rated those ones as high as like 90s, 95. But this stuff is definitely on a different scale. It's like this scale goes up to 150. And I'd give this one 127 out of 150. Passes all basic cheeses and it's a very high tier among even the greatest cheeses. This is Mimolette. I forgot to mention, I got all these from Euphoric Cheese Shop in Knoxville. Maybe there's more of them out there, but if you need some good cheese, that's where you go. 
pretty excited. I got two more reviews to do right now. <laughs> so I'll see you real soon. Cheese out.